today's video is going to be my first Q&A video. I was really excited when you guys were asking me questions. I posted on my Instagram and uh, my YouTube channel. Um, it was the video before this one. I asked you guys to ask me a bunch of questions in the comment section as well as on my Instagram. If you guys didn't get a chance to ask me a question, I will be doing another Q&A hopefully in the future and I will go ahead and feature all you guys in there. If you guys don't know my Instagram, I'll go ahead and put it right here somewhere with an annotation. That way you guys can go and follow me and ask me questions. Um, I might not do it on Twitter, probably not just Instagram, and then I will make another announcement or something on YouTube, and then you guys can ask me more questions. I did get a lot of questions this time around, and I had some questions from last time I asked to do a Q&A, um, but I didn't get enough questions, so I'm going to go ahead and feature those questions in here as well. I thought a Q&A video would be really fun to do because I just think you guys need to know a little bit more about me because I film a lot of videos that are like tutorials and stuff, and I I really don't get to explain or um, let you guys know some other stuff about me um, so I thought this was the perfect way for you guys to know a little bit more about me I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions on my phone um, that I got on YouTube just really quickly I just wanted to announce that I will be at BeautyCon LA um, July 11th if you guys are going, definitely come up to me and say hi. I know last time when I went to BeautyCon Dallas, some of you came up to me and I was super excited to meet you. Um, if you are going, I know I don't have that many subscribers to um, like see there, I guess. But if you guys definitely are going to be there, definitely come up to me and say hi because I would love to know and see faces of people that watch me. I think that would be totally cool. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know if you're, let, you're going down below in the comment section. Okay, so the first question is from Kiana the Beauty Girl. Um, she asked, cookies or cake? And I actually like a lot of sweet, so I would probably have to say cake. Um, the next question is from Gabby. She actually asked a lot of questions, but that's okay because, I mean, why not? Um, she said, hot Cheetos with lemon, lol, love that. And I actually do like hot cheetos with lemon but my boyfriend like showed me this like i don't know like a little trick i guess you put the hot cheetos and then you put the lemon and then you put some um kool-aid and then you put some salt and it tastes really good um so that's how i eat it but you sometimes i'll eat it with like it already made like in a bag um she asked do you go to school and for what if you do um, I don't go to school. I actually graduated high school in 2013 and I haven't been in school ever since. I've been working, freelancing, and then YouTube. Um, but I really do want to go to school. I just haven't gone because I feel like I just have way too many interests and I don't know what I want to do yet because I love doing makeup and hair and I really want to know how to really want to learn how to do nails and waxing um, as well as hair with like cutting and dyeing and all that kind of stuff um, and then if you guys didn't know like if you don't follow me on my Instagram I also do photography on the side as well as graphic designing and I just feel like I have too many interests to decide what I want to do yet so I'm kind of just like waiting to see what I want to do first um, she also asked what shoe size are you um, I'm in between a seven and a half and an eight right now. I don't know why, but my some shoes I wear seven and then some shoes I wear eight. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, she also asked, would you ever do a meetup? And I actually really wanted to. Um, I was kind of planning out with my um, my manager at work because she really wanted me to do some kind of meetup um, because we were gonna have beauty week. And she mentioned that it would be cool if some of my subscribers came and I did some of you your makeup um, if you are in my area and then you would get like a free goodie with that but I just think that I have not that many subscribers to do it I feel like I need to build more to see who's in my area I guess if that makes sense um, so I really want to I just think that it would have to be a little bit later when I have more subscribers if that makes sense. Next question is from Cherry Adams and she asks would you rather die of a heart attack or pee on yourself in front of your future husband? I would probably say pee on myself in front of my future husband because I don't think I want to die of a heart attack. Also asked how many brothers and sisters do you have and I have one brother and one sister. 
Um, the next question is from Cassie, and she asks, How badly do you wish we could meet? LOL, love you, girl. Um, and she is one of my YouTube best friends, and I really, really, really want to meet her, hopefully soon. I'm trying to get her to come to, like, a beauty event with me. I think that would be really fun, like, if we could meet at a beauty event or like even meet before that and like hang out with each other and then go to a beauty event i think that would be really cool um she is in canada and i'm in texas so if I, we were to fly to each other it'd be like really really far and i think i'd be kind of scared to fly to canada because i never fly by myself so i don't know maybe i will have to get her to come over here and then i'll go over there i don't know yet but i really do want to meet her next question is from laura Perez, and she said who are your favorite YouTube gurus? Who inspired you to start making videos? And I actually watch a lot of girls on YouTube, like too many. I have like over 2,000 and something subscriptions. My newsfeed always has something for me to watch. Um, but some of my favorites are recently it has been Patrick Starr and Manny MUA. I just think that they're so inspiring. If you guys haven't seen um, Patrick Starr's Cinderella story, I will link it down in the description bar. You guys definitely need to um, watch it. I think it just inspired me so much to kind of follow my dreams. And you guys just have to watch it because it really, really, really inspired me when I saw it. And um, yeah, so they're some of my favorites. And then also I watch... Um, Cutie Girl 9, which she's one of my favorites. Alicia Marie Makeup and Sierra Marie Makeup and um, who else? I don't know. I just watched so many, so many people, guys. Like, I feel like I have way, way too many. I can't really, like, narrow, narrow it down to my favorites. Um, and then she also asked who inspired you to start making videos. And Cutie Girl 9, if you guys don't know her, she actually inspired me to start making my own videos because I've been watching her since she only had like 20,000 subscribers around there and she really inspired me. I was watching her for a really long time and every time I would watch her, sometimes I would watch her around my friends and I would show her to them and they really wouldn't be interested and I was and I just like continued following her and she has gotten so far with her YouTube and as well as her other career which she's also um, going to school and she actually just finished I believe um, she went to law school and I think she's gonna accomplish so much and that just makes it even more inspiring for me the next question is from Gabby she asked another question and she said what is your first job and my first job was actually at a Mexican restaurant um, it was a friend a friend's um, parents restaurant and I started my junior year of high school and I worked there for I think like six to seven maybe eight months and I was a waitress there and it was so fun I really liked working there um, but it's funny because I didn't even speak Spanish so I had to um, only take the people that spoke English and then the people that spoke Spanish somebody else would take them and I just thought that that was so funny um, the next question is from Angie Beauty by Angie 98 and she asked what is your favorite makeup brand and my favorite makeup brand if you guys didn't know is Too Faced Cosmetics I really like all their products that they make um, I haven't tried anything out from them that I didn't like so far um, that I can think of yeah no I don't think I've ever tried anything from them that I didn't like so they're my favorite makeup brand because of that because um, I feel like they just have so many great products and I feel like when they do their packaging they just put so much thought into it that's why it's like the cutest at Sephora um, so I really like them. Next question is from Ninja Stevenson. Nin Ninja? I'm sorry if I'm saying her name wrong. Um, she asked dresses or skirts for the summer and I would probably have to say dresses because skirts I feel like you have to find a top and then you gotta find shoes and I just think that a dress is so much easier to just slip on and then find shoes and then you're ready to go out the door. It's kind of like a romper but a dress. Next question is from Brianna and she asked if you could pick one makeup item what would it be and I would probably have to say mascara because I just think it opens up your eyes especially if you're not wearing anything and you just have mascara I think it just like makes you look more awake it opens your eyes it doesn't look, make your eyes look all like small that's how mine look without mascara anyways um so yeah, it would have to be mascara. Next question is from Dope Makeup and she asks, How do you like your job working at Estee Lauder? I've seen your work from your Instagram. 
How did you apply for Estee Lauder? How is it working there? How do you like it? And what do you do, etc.? Thank in advance. Um, I guess I'll answer the first question. And she said, how do you like working at Estee Lauder? Um, I really like working there. I've been working there since, since September of last year. And it's almost going to be a whole year, which is kind of insane. Um, but I started working there because... I really wanted to like build up my clientele because I was already like freelancing on the side and I just really wanted to build it up um, like build up my clientele here since I live in a small town it's gonna be easy to like build it up because it's just so small and there's like so many people here but it's like really small um, and I really like working there I feel like it's a lot of fun um, she said how did you apply for it and if you guys didn't know it's actually not like Estee Lauder by itself it's actually in another store so it's kind of like a Macy's or a Dillard's I know there's not that store all over around the United States um I actually don't know where where exactly it's. I also live like right around the corner it's like literally two streets down almost and I feel like um I can get there in no time so I really like that it's not too far um so yeah I applied through the store and then on my application, I put like beauty advisor, which is what I do. Um, that's the question she asked. She asked, what do I do? So I'm a beauty advisor. So that means that I help people with makeup um, and skincare. And I color match people. I've done makeovers on people before. If you guys want to see some of my work, definitely follow me on my Instagrams. Um, I have a personal one and then a beauty one, which I will always link down in the description bar. Um... And yeah, I feel like I've already built built up my clientele just working there, which is really cool because I feel like I, if I left, some of my clientele would follow me wherever I go because I have like that kind of relationship with them, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and as well as the people that I work with. I, I think that it's really important to be um, really close to the people you work with because you're going to be seeing them every day. And I feel like I've definitely done that with my friends there. Next question is from Miss Beauty Royalty and she asks what made you want to start a YouTube channel and basically the reason why is because I moved to Florida um, the I think the Monday after I graduated high school and I was totally separated from like my friends and I was moving to a big city that I had no idea about I didn't know anybody there or anything and literally when I got there I just felt like I had nobody to talk to because all my friends were here in Texas and I was just really watching YouTube like a lot a lot a lot like I was watching so much YouTube and I just figured hey why not start my own channel because I was like inspired like I mentioned by cutesy girl 9 and I just figured why not because I would actually get a lot of people asking me to make um, videos on how I do my hair like curling my hair and stuff people asking me to make videos and I actually had no idea how to make a video or anything and I just figured why not so I started off and I just went in and uploaded my first video and that was almost two years ago and here I am today. The next question is also from Gabby and she asked am I still are you still with your boyfriend and I actually am. Sometimes it seems like we're not together anymore or that we broke up or something but it's really just because we don't see each other that much because ever since I started working um, we really just don't see each other that much. We see each other probably like two times a month and it's kind of crazy because we don't live that far away from each other it's just that we're so busy and I'm always busy with either work or YouTube and he's always busy with his work and his personal life so we kind of just don't see each other but when we do um, I mean we we do make the best of how long we see each other um, and yeah if you guys want you can follow me on my Instagram or even on my snapchat and you probably see him there um, but yeah, usually when we're together and I do see him, I really am not on my phone or anything, like even taking pictures of each other because we're just, we never see each other that much. So, but yeah, you probably will see him on my Snapchat or on my Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me there so you can probably see him there. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the questions that I got on my Instagram. And this is the picture that I had posted on my Instagram. And you guys asked me some questions down in the comment section. Um, so I'm going to start off with Annie Forever. Um, she asked, what is your wallpaper on your iPhone? 
and my front wallpaper if you guys haven't seen the what's on my iphone video i've already done it i will link it down in the description bar but it is just this collage of me and my boyfriend um there's literally like so many pictures like from when we, when we first started dating and yeah it was just a lot of a lot of pictures of us i made a collage of it i actually can't remember the collage um maker that i used um, I was getting that a lot of questions of that, um, how I made it, but I actually cannot remember. But if I do end up remembering, I will put it down in the description bar of this video. Next question is from Tasha, and she asks, what foundation do you use religiously? And if you guys didn't know, I am obsessed with Estee Lauder Double Wear, and not just because I work for them, but I just feel like, I don't know, just something about it, like, no matter if my skin's dry or oily or I'm just having a really bad breakout, it still looks flawless and it lasts all day. It's sweat proof, humidity proof, and um, I don't know, it just really, really looks good on a lot of different skin types. Um, normally people with oily skin use it, but I've used it on some dry skin people and they end up loving it as well. Um, so yeah, that is the foundation that I use like almost every single day, actually every single day. Um, and it's funny because when I first tried it out, when I started working for Estee Lauder, I would hear so many people talk about it on YouTube and Instagram, just everywhere, all over this, all over like social media. And I was like, okay, I gotta try this foundation and see what everybody's talking about. And I tried it and actually hated it. Um, I don't know why I hated it. I guess it's because um, the sample that I got was a little bit dried out or something. Um, and I actually hated it and then I was like no you know what? I need to give it another try and then I thought it was breaking me out but it wasn't it was actually something else I was using so I went back and I tried it again and I like fell in love with it and then I got some of it with my gratis um, and yeah I use it every single day and I just love it it's like great for people that want coverage um, and then people that are really, really oily. I think it's really, really good. The next question is from Marissa, and she's actually one of the girls that work with me at um, at work. You guys should go and follow her. I will put her annotation right here because I think she she is really, really talented, and she deserves some followers on Instagram. Um, so that's her right here. I'll show you a picture of her because um, she's really inspiring to me so that's her right there um but she had asked a question and it's funny because we were at work and she's like i want to ask you a question but i don't really know what to ask you but i think this is such a good question um so she asked who is your best friend and i have a lot of best friends everybody at work is my best friend basically um but she asked just kidding who is your makeup idol whose technical skills do you respect and expire aspire to be like um and i'm gonna answer her first question first she said who is your makeup idol and i was like thinking about this question really long and hard and i think i would have to say jacqueline hill and the reason is because i feel like she's just like so humble and when she teaches her makeup in her tutorials she doesn't go through it really fast she just like goes and she explains every single detail that she needs to explain but she makes it really short and sweet to the point to where you know what she's talking about and i just think that she needs to like actually teach a class because i think a lot of people would learn from her um if they haven't already learned from her youtube channel but i think if she went to like a school and she taught it in a cosmetology class i think that would be so so cool um but yeah, she's one of my makeup idols. I feel like everything that she puts on her face just looks flawless. And I've seen a lot of her work and I've definitely learned a lot from her myself. She also asked, whose technical skills do you respect and aspire to be like? And I would have to say um, Jaclyn Hale. But I also really like Patrick Starr's makeup because I just think that any person that he does, he makes them look flawless. I really respect and aspire to be like them because... I just think that they could make anybody feel really great even though makeup isn't supposed to be like this mask on top of your face it's made to um, enhance what you already have and I hope one day I get to meet them and tell them that in person because I think that would be 
I think that would make them feel really good. Okay, so that is actually it for all the questions. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. That way you guys can ask me some questions in my next Q&A. So that is it, and I will see you guys in my next video.